left and right, Democrat and Republican, blue pill and red pill. What is the actual meaning of this binary, this division, which is so characteristic of the current political climate here in America? Even extends beyond politics, what it means to be a man or a woman or even a human being in general and what it means to have family values, have family values. She expects to rise into the leisure class when some young man asks her for the privilege of supporting her through life. We are making no claim that the lot of millions of housekeeping mothers, married to working men, is more enviable than is the condition of their husbands. We merely wish to point out that millions of women, potentially, actually, or psychologically, are of the leisure class, and that fact and expectation keep women, as a sex, allied to the forces of reaction. Family values. family values family values family values family values disrupted by this division, with one side declaring that everything we've ever known about these things can be completely thrown out the window, and we completely refashion everything about us as human beings according to these enlightened precepts. Gender is completely made up, and as a matter of fact, not only can we choose whatever gender we want to have, we can even make up new ones. Additionally, everything we've ever known about the relation between the sexes is completely prejudiced and based on patriarchy. And actually, there is no difference between men and women. And men need to become more feminine and they need to get more into their feelings. I think you guys can see where this is going. All of the things that make us as a population capable of resisting the globalist elite's agenda for overwhelming and sweeping change needs to be condemned and needs to be opposed. And all of the things that make us more obedient and willing slaves of the globalist elites need to be promoted and need to be valorized.
How many male celebrities have you seen come out and just wear dresses in public to the grand applause of the artificial audience and artificial social media the globalist elites have engineered? So brave, inspiring future generations of young men to adopt all of the qualities and characteristics that make them less likely to take up arms and rise up against what is inevitably going to be an openly fascist dictatorship that's going to enforce, at the point of a gun, the globalist agenda, the degrowth agenda, the green agenda. The future will certainly be woke. Won't it? Actually, doesn't seem like it. For some miraculous reason, and despite overwhelming odds to completely brainwash the future generation of men to basically be cuckolds and soy boys and pussies. Of course you resort to attacking someone for being cucked. Only mentally defective right-wing men have an obsession with cucking. You sure like to wear your sexual insecurity on your sleeve. Men have found role models and inspiration in people like Andrew Tate. And the reason I got this t-shirt made is because I have a lot of respect for Coney. Now I know, okay, he's a warlord, whatever, whatever. But Coney is a G. For then, Jordan Peterson. I don't want to have anything to do with women. It's like you're a pathetic weasel. And while I have my disagreements with those people, and I also, for the record, have disagreements with their approach, what they all share in common is that they're promoting a message of masculinity. Celebration of masculinity is a celebration of male utility and slavery. And the flip side is that men get attacked for not being masculine. Anxiety about male identity is not pro-male, and has nothing to do with men's rights. Men should have equal rights to women, that is all I am concerned about. 